Hi everyone, welcome to my presentation on the perception of a now robot via self-assessments and behavioral analyses when conducting audiological tests. This study was performed in parallel with another study in which we investigated the use of a now robot to conduct various psychophysical auditory tests. So to begin, why do we want to look into this? Often, to understand the underlying mechanisms of speech, participants or patients are requested to perform at times lengthy and repetitive tests. The repetitiveness of these tests can lead to disengagement by participants, potentially leading to unreliable data collection. However, it has been suggested that human-robot interaction, or HRI, could be a method to counter the effect of tiring tasks. By using a robot to conduct these tests, engagement could be maintained for a longer duration, leading to the collection of more reliable data. To provide some background on the tests utilized in the study, we made use of the perception of indexical cues in kids and adults, or PICA, test battery. This battery is composed of a collection of four psychophysical tests, each investigating a different mechanism used in the understanding of speech. The most notable of these mechanisms is the fundamental frequency and vocal track length vo voice cues. Three of these tests have been reported on and published in the articles below. However, the topic of this study and presentation is on the HRI evaluation. It has been suggested in literature that at least three metrics should be considered when analyzing HRI. Therefore, the metrics we have included are self-assessments, behavioral analysis, and task performance, the latter of which has been reported in the aforementioned articles. The self-assessments used in the study were those often used in the literature, including the negative attitudes towards robot scale, the neuroticism, extroversion, openness, five-factor index, the system usability scale, and the Godspeed questionnaire series. The user experience questionnaire, while often used, is specific to the interaction being investigated and thus was developed by ourselves. The sociability and interaction scale was adapted from the questionnaire items used by Lee et al. However, some items were deemed unfit for our use case. Behavioral analysis was performed using both verbal and nonverbal social cues and signals. The most notable cues used were those relating to what are known as back channels. These are nonverbal cues displayed when an interactor is engaged and wants an interaction to continue. Because the structure of the PICA tests is such that very little verbal communication is required, back channels provided a method of analyzing whether or not a participant was engaged or enjoyed the interaction. Onto the methods, this study included 39 healthy normal hearing participants between the ages of 19 and 38 years, all of whom had less than 20 dB hearing level. Participants were instructed to complete each of the PICA tests twice, once with the conventionally used computer interface and once with the now robot. The order in which the interfaces and tests were presented was randomized for each participant. Stimuli were presented by the loudspeakers of the interfaces, both of which were calibrated to present stimuli at 65 dB SPL. Although the quality and hardware of the loudspeakers differed, an investigation showed them to be identical in their output levels. When using the NOW, the robot both introduced themselves as well as provided test instructions. In addition, two of these tests included breaks during which participants could rest between iterations. To increase the social presence of the now, the robot offered participants to join the robot in a stretch routine during these breaks. Prior to the beginning of the experiment, participants were asked to complete the NARS and Neo FFI questionnaire. Following the test and interaction, the remaining questionnaires were administered. The behavioral analysis was performed using the open source behavioral observational research interactive software, Boris which allowed for the coding of a variety of defined behavioral cues. Video recordings of the interactions were taken with two cameras, one placed to the side to view body positioning and movements, and one in front of the participant to capture facial expressions. Participants were seated at a table with either the computer or now placed upon it, and the other interface placed out of their line of sight. Coding was performed by a total of five independent coders, all of whom individually viewed and coded the videos. Depicted here is a behavioral coding map used by coders to actually code the individual behavioral cues throughout the videos. Shown here is the stretch routine that the now would perform during the breaks. However, the routine was not performed every time during a break, only when participants agreed to follow them along. The study generated a great deal of results. So I'll give an overview of them now, but I'll be happy to answer any questions. First, looking at the pre-experiment questionnaires, results show that for one of the NAS subscales, S1, which had to do with negative attitudes towards situations of interactions with robots was significantly different to a score that would otherwise indicate a neutral attitude. Results of the Neo-FFI questionnaire show that participants tended to lie towards the extroverted, agreeable, and conscientious sides of their respective spectra, 
giving an indication as to the types of people who participated in the study. Looking at the post-experiment questionnaire, four of the 10 system usability scale items were significantly different when answered with respect to the computer or the now robot. Only one of these items was in favor of the now, which was the interface to be used more frequently. However, when it came to confidence, support required, and things that needed to be learned by the participants, the computer was more usable. The user experience questionnaire was divided into two parts, one based on Likert responses, which could be compared between the interfaces, and one in a binary choice between the interfaces. One of the most relevant findings of the Likert questionnaire was that participants found the pace of the test slower when using the computer, yet our previous findings have shown that the test was significantly longer when using the now. Furthermore, while it may seem that based on the Likert questionnaire that the computer had a better user experience, results of the binary questionnaire showed an overwhelming preference for using the now robot. Important to note is that the sociability and interaction scale and Godspeed questionnaire series were only asked with respect to the now robot and not the computer. Therefore, this plot and the following one relate only to the now. We saw that overall, for the sociability and interaction scale, participants attributed a high degree of intelligence and enjoyment of interaction to the robot, which was reflected in the results of the Godspeed questionnaire in the categories of perceived intelligence and likability. Looking only at the back channels coded during the behavioral analysis, we see more frequently occurring positive back channels, such as smiling and laughing when using the now, and more frequent negative back channels, such as frowning and grimacing when using the computer. This potentially indicates that participants were more engaged and enjoyed more the interaction with the now in comparison to the computer. To close this presentation, I have summarized these findings in the final slides. The self-assessments showed that participants overall had a more positive attitude towards situations of interactions with robots, which may be reflected in their personalities of more extroverted, conscientious, and agreeable. Regarding the usability of the now, while the robot was reported to be more likely to be used frequently, the complexity of the interface was a disadvantage. Therefore, this would need to be improved upon in future iterations. However, the now was overall reported to be preferred over the computer and participants reported a high degree of enjoyment and likability of the now. Overall, behavioral analysis showed more cues were exhibited when using the now, potentially indicating a more dynamic interaction. In addition, the high occurrence of positive back channels with the now indicated more engagement and enjoyment. And lastly, frowning was the main contributor to the negative back channels with the computer, possibly indicating more focus or attention was placed in the task, yet task performance was not affected as shown in our previous studies. In conclusion, based on our previous studies, the now can be used as an alternative to the conventional computer interface as similar task performance data was reported between the two. Furthermore, the result of the HRI evaluation between the two interfaces indicates that the now is able to maintain engagement and enjoyment throughout repetitive psychophysical tasks. Thank you very much for your attention.